Jessica Sanchez, Phoenix Realtor here, and I wanted to talk to you today about what's going on in the Phoenix real estate market. Arizona was just ranked number two in the country for appreciation, according to the FHA. That's at 9.1% on a 12-month moving average, which is the most conservative measurement. Phoenix was at 8.9, Queen Creek 9.7, which was the top in the East Valley. And we even have Paradise Valley, which was at 8.6%. Scottsdale's a little lower at 6.2, and what that's kind of based off of is those places that are much higher have a lot of new building going on, and that brings up the price. The amount of supply that we have right now is substantially lower than the demand, and that's leading to an imbalanced market. Prices will not go down until the supply goes above the demand. Supply stopped dropping, and we do expect a seasonally a small influx of new listings for the fall, Typically, those listings are in the higher price ranges. What's crazy is about supply is that it's actually up 10% from this time last year. The difference there is that there's so much more demand than last year. These homes are being scooped up so fast before they barely even have a chance to hit the market. Um, so the increase in supply is not nearly enough to satisfy the massive amount of demand. In the month of July, we had one of the largest months of single family home construction permits in the last three years, since 2007. That means that more homes will be coming onto the market, but they haven't even been built yet. Listings under contract are up 23% since this time last year. Median days listed prior to contract right now is at seven days. If you bought your home in 2010 and you still own it today, then the average appreciation that you're up is 141%. Amazingly enough, it's still a good time to buy with historically low interest rates. People are still getting a 30 year fixed under 3%. That makes the overall cost of buying a home lower than this time last year, even with the increases in price. If you have any questions at all about buying, selling, investing, or just the market in general, please reach out to me.